Welcome back to January Bar, guys. In the last video, we have seen how to call a stored procedure having parameter of in mode. And in this video, I will show you how to make use of an out mode parameter to send data from this routine to the uh, Java program. So for that, I'm going to modify, I'm going to add one more parameter so that will be of out mode and the name of the parameter that I'm going to use is some kind of count and that will be of integer type what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this count variable with a value that is the number of rows selected and uh, suppose in the last case when we selected uh, the number name of users having age greater than 40 there were three members so I want to set that three to this count variable for that, I am going to use the normal SQL statement uh, select count star, which will select number of rows selected into count. So the count selected using the uh, SQL query will be now copied into this count variable, and I am going to set this uh, were uses to dot h greater than mh. Uh, we have to specify from which table, so from users to were uses to dot h greater than mh. So what happens is in using this procedure we can get the name of the users having an age above this mh and the number of users selected will be now will now be available in this count variable. So I'm going to apply in order to make the changes to the stored procedure and that's it. Now let come back to the code and here we are going with uh, calling with simple one simple parameter and I'm going to give one more parameter so there is a question mark and this is an out mode parameter so I just I just don't have to set in or use that function what I want to use is I want to register the second parameters as out so for that stmt dot register out parameter so this is the type that we are going to use uh, stmt dot register out parameter and the parameter is the second parameter and here we have to specify what is the type of the second parameter and that is available in java dot sql dot type dot and it is an integer type if, if it was a string you can use worker since it, it is an integer i'm going for integer so we have specified that the second parameter is an out parameter having type of integer so that's it now in the result section all that i want to use is i want to display some message and number of members got equals and i want to display the value of the second parameter and the second parameter can be obtained as follows int count returned equals stmt dot get get int so it's an integer data type so get in and the we have to give it this as two so it's a parameter position int count return so this will let us to access this count variable from our program then all that I want to do is to display the count returned now let me run the code. I'm going to press Shift F6, and you can see that number of members got is equal to three, and we will get these three members. I'm going to change the age threshold. Let us set let us set to that to 20, and let me run the code. And you can, as you can see, first number of members got eight, and there is the name of eight members. So I hope you understood the use of out variable. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching this video guys, like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos.